Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep. We once again find ourselves in the map editor. Yep, last episode we were adding the smaller plants that go between the trees. So if your graphic settings are a high enough uh, level, then you will have grass on the grassy areas. If not, then you will have nothing between the trees. So we add these little plants to give ourselves uh, some interest some sort of ground level interest, but also to once again break up the uh, the sort of uh, line of sight between you, the rest of the island, the sea and everything. So it makes everything look a lot bigger than it might otherwise seem. So we started off on this island a few episodes ago and it looked tiny. It looked like a little disc of sand uh, in an ocean of blue. Then we carved in a, a couple of rivers. So we've got these Y-shaped rivers which uh, are kind of cool. And then we added the cliffs, then we added some uh, points of interest. So we've got a little boat there in the cave. Uh, we've got these sea stacks. We've got these little offshore islands with little trees and stuff on. And then we, we added these forests. And then we added all the plants that go in between. So that's kind of cool. And I think this, this episode, what we're going to do is add in a few uh, a few shipwrecks, a few sort of things for us to climb on and play around. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit up structures. And we're, we're literally just going to have a play. There's no plan for this. This entire island had no plan. I didn't write it down on the back of an envelope. I didn't do anything like that. It's just like, well, let's get some, uh, let's get some bits and pieces. Uh, just kind of set out. I had a few ideas. This sort of uh, area here where perhaps we could drop a shark in. that. Uh, well, I guess looking at the name of the map, Deep Blue Sea, this comes from that. And I think what we need to do is have ourselves a little, um, let's get this in, kind of awkward, there we go. So if we hit R, we can rotate, let's do that. So if we press T, now at the moment, these objects don't have physics. So the rocks that we placed last time don't have any physics. So they're not gonna bounce around when we start throwing things like this into the world. So we can kind of shuffle this in and kind of move it around. And you might be saying, well, what are you doing? Why are you slamming this boat, this shipwreck into, into the beach? What's, what's the name of the game there? Well, you can use objects in one of two ways. You can either use them in the way they're intended, or you can not use them in the way they're intended. And what I wanted was, okay, so in the film Deep Blue Sea, there's this, uh, this area where they have these modified mako sharks. They're bigger than normal. And uh, there's the fences between these walkways. There's also like a little, uh, like a little control tower, which they have, there's a helicopter uh, and they go, oh, hello helicopter from the control tower. That's kind of cool, but there's no control tower actually in this game. So what we can do is use other bits of structures that are in the game. Are you with me so far? like the top of this boat. Yep, yeah, we won't be able to use the steps to walk down into anywhere because there's no way, you can't go under the mesh. There's nothing under the mesh. In fact, the only thing under the island mesh is the sea. So what we're going to do is use this as a kind of little hut thing on the side of the island. And if we do it right, it's not going to look like the top of the boat. It'll actually look like it, it kind of needs to be here, int is intended to be here. So if we do this, we can kind of have it in the sea a little bit. And then we hit R to rotate. There we go. And it's all very pleasant. Now the bow is going to stick out a little bit over here. What we can do is kind of uh, do a little cheeky rotate on it. Oop. Just a little bit, just like, just a little bit. So these rocks here, we can just click on them, press T, and then just move these rocks to kind of hide the fact that there's a, a bit of boat sticking up there. All right, let's do that. Uh, press R, give it a little rotate. Can we do it in such a way that it just literally hides? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. There we go. So uh, is, is that the bow or the stern that we've just hidden? I'm not sure. That's kind of cool though. That's kind of cool. I'm just making sure it's not clipping into anything. It is clipping into something. It's clipping into this. All right, okay. So we'll move that to there. We just want to raise it up a bit and make sure that the bottom of the tree is actually, so it can still move things around. Nothing's, nothing's set. All these are all just objects in our island. If we need to move things around, we can, uh, which is very, very good. 
And I will click on this boat and we'll press T and then we'll move it in a bit, shall we? Just a little bit. There we go. Um, is that revealed anything there? No. Okay, fine. Um, is there any sort of windows or anything on the other side of this? Is this sort of is it more interesting on this side than the other? Mm, not really. I mean there is a slightly bigger window, I guess. Uh, we could always just flip this one 180 and just see if it looks okay. And if it doesn't, then we'll um, if we just press R. We well, could use these buttons up here, but R and T for rotate. And uh, uh, does that look better that way round? Does it though? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think it looks. It looks okay. It looks okay. We might. What we might do is just sort of. If we press C, we can clone these rocks here, and then move this over here, uh, like so, and then R rotate. Ah, there we go. T. Drop those in. Let's use that to hide the front of the boat. There we go. There we go. So we get these shoreline rocks. Now we might actually move this one back. Press R and just rotate it so it's not the same as the other one. Was uh, were we missing a rock here? No, there were only two rocks here originally. So we can just kind of uh, move that slightly. There we go. There we go. There we go. Why don't we have another another rock for us? Press C and then sort of move that out. There. Yeah. Uh, that's actually floating in the air. Now, this will be a physics object once we're in the game, so it's not too bad. We'll move it close to the beach. There we go. So we've got this little hut now on the shore, and it's kind of, is it rotated slightly? Uh, it's rotated so it's level. Lovely. There is a little bit of metal sticking out the sand. We don't need to worry about that. There might be bits and pieces just kind of removing the, the obvious bow shape. Um, from the world. Now, okay, yep, when you place shipwrecks in the world, you are going to get loot and stuff that appears inside. Uh, but we're going to kind of ignore that. What we want is this kind of um, observation area here to make, to make this look like it's part of something. Otherwise, it's just a load of walkways. And it's like, well, these walkways are fine, but are they actually part of something? Do they, do they have a purpose in the real world? We might actually rotate that. Just a few pixels. There we go. There we go. That, yeah, that looks cool. Cool. That looks really cool because it's uh, these these uprights kind of look like uh, like nautical, um, I guess like a, a pier structure or some sort of structure that's uh, designed to be there rather than the top of a boat. Ah, that's actually real nice. That's real nice. So that's using an item in the world without actually um, it kind of not against its purpose, but uh, repurposing it. I think that's what we can uh, we can safely say. We're repurposing an item. Now we've got the shipwreck here. That's fine. I thought about throwing something big here, like uh, one of the other big shipwrecks. And I thought, no, because if you put a shark in here, uh, the trouble is it's got these other objects to navigate around. So it's got these um, rock stacks. And the shark AI does fairly successfully navigate around uh, terrain. But if we throw things like these these ships in, um, what it can do is it can get confused. It sort of like goes along the edge, kind of like a Roomba. If you've ever seen one of those robotic vacuum cleaners doing edge cleaning uh, around the corner of a room, it kind of gets goes a bit funny around uh, shipwrecks and stuff. So uh, if we were to try and hunt in this area alone, what we would probably do is uh, not have a ton of shipwrecks. But we've got this guy in here, and that looks kind of because kind of, looks kind of neat. Um, yeah, we've got this rail. And I'm not sure what we can do with that. Uh, maybe we could put a rock in there so we could just kind of walk over it. Small rock. Small rock? Big rock. Big rock. Big rock. Big rock. Shoreline. Small rock. Is there, so is there something we can put in there that's going to allow us to kind of walk over it, I guess? No. We'll just try a few things. That's, nah, that's not right. It's not right at all. It doesn't feel, if it doesn't feel right, do it. Um, all right, that might work. Press T. Uh, if we rotate it slightly, see what see what the rest of this kind of uh, item is like. Ah, there we go. That looks cool. Yeah. 
And then we'll just sort of pop it up, pop it down. I just want to remove some of that railing maybe. So it kind of looks like it, it kind of should exist. But then we can, we can just, we can just literally walk up here and then down the other side instead of just having to hop over the railing every time. Yeah. Okay. That, that looks interesting. There's a, hmm, there is a little plant under there. If we move that back. Can we grab that? Yes, we can. So we'll just raise it up slightly and then push this back to where it should have been. Uh, there. Good. And then we'll move this guy. We'll, we'll reposition this guy instead of just deleting it. I don't want to remove it from the island entirely. Boop. Uh, boop. Is that booped? Is that booped? Is that? It's too, too far into sand. I think that is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Good. So we've not only repositioned something in the world that shouldn't really be positioned like that. Um, okay, it looks cool. It looks cool. It is interesting at uh, any rate. That looks terrifying. I mean, once you're in the game, the, the sea is not going to look like this unless you've got it on laptop level um, rendering. The, the sea is going to be the much bigger wave. So actually getting onto this is going to be a little bit tricky, especially if there happens to be a big old fish in the area. So uh, these little pond, these little ponds, these little pools here can be quite um, can be quite cool. What we might do is we might say, well, you know what? Um, actually, where the other trouble, the other problem is, we we need an area to land the raft. So if we put a load of stuff around the edge of the island, when we come in with our raft, we don't want to be like, oh crap, we can't land anywhere, and there be a shark sort of swimming around, going, ooh, I'm going to eat your face off. So, uh, yeah, what we need to do, is that, is that not smooth there? Ooh, there's another area where it's not smooth. So we'll just hit the terrain, bring up the smoothing tool, uh, reduce size about, yeah, about that much. Increase the amount slightly and just kind of rub along here, just kind of smooth up those. There's a sort of triangular terrain under there. I don't want that. There we go. Uh, there we go. That's uh, a bit, little, little better. Uh, kind of along there as well. So it looks a bit more natural. I thought we'd smoothed all of this. Well, we had. I suppose when, once you get close, you uh, you see um, obvious sort of like little bumps and lumps and stuff, but it's not too, too bad. It's not too bad. Right, so we go back to objects. Uh, we'll close up rocks. We'll find structures again. Now there should be like a little rowboat. There it is. Ah, there we go. So if we hit R, we can rotate. There we go. It's a cool little trick, this, uh, just by throwing, if you have like a little bit of waterway, um, the waterway little, little pool, I guess. It looks like, you know, when you're at the beach and there's a rock uh, and there's like a pool around it because of the way that the, uh, the action of the sea is. So it's kind of in its little, little rock pool, I guess. Uh, well, you can do the same thing with the little shipwrecks uh, if you use a little rowboat. Sometimes these have, uh, what does it have on them? They have loot. Sometimes they have loot, sometimes they don't. There's no way of sort of saying, oh, I, I want to loot here, um, because that's, that's just not the way the world works, I'm afraid. Not the way the game works, anyway. Um, yeah, shipwreck. Yeah. Sometimes you can add things that just really don't make sense, don't make a lot of sense at all. So it's like, what? What is that doing there? Sort of running along, and you're like, I, I don't know what this is here for. I think I preferred it that way around, actually. Yeah, I think I prefer it that way around. Look at that. That looks kind of neat, kind of neato, neato, interesting. Yeah, fine. Um, along here. Now, ah, oh, this is weird. Very weird. All right, we'll leave that for a second. We'll leave it for a second. Um, how about over here? Can we do something here? Yeah, we've got a bunch of shipwrecks. Now, the thing is, the sea isn't that deep. So if we grab this guy, and then we sort of zoom in. This is as deep as the sea is. If we go under the water. Apart from the fact that, yep, it goes in strange the abyss there. Um, this is actually sat on the ocean floor. So uh, that kind of gives you a clue as to the, the kind of uh, terrain, I guess, we're dealing with. I don't want to use that, though. It's too, too kind of big. Uh, Shipwreck 3A. So that's the standard. A standard fishing boat. Boop. I'm going to boop him there. That's a standard fishing boat. <laughs> Almost worth leaving him there, actually. But we're not going to. We're going to get rid of that. 
And we're going to do something. Ooh, what can we do? What can we do? Can we do something here? I, th I guess we might be able to do something here, actually. Um, because we might be able to pick our way down the rocks and then have like a little risky bisky, uh, risky bisky maneuver where it's like, well, if you want, if you want the stuff off the wreck, that is really deep. Uh, if you want the stuff off the wreck, then you, you have to do, uh, you, you have to leap down and then run the risk of running into a shark on the way back to land. So you can get to it, but you can't. You can't actually uh, get the stuff off of it unless you... Oh, actually. Ooh, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so I've, I've got an idea. Most of the ideas come from just trying things out. It's like, that that might work, or that really doesn't work. That looks stupid. Um, does this work? The question is, is it... Well, I'm not sure. I think this tab here, this shadow, this square shadow, we, I think we worked out that, that was coming from the top of a tree. Um, so we did this. It's kind of like it's slammed against the rocks. I'll pull the bow out. Hit rotate. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I think that angle might be too much. That might be a bridge too far. Is there something we can do on the other side? Uh, maybe gets a bit a bit north atlantic on the other side very very steep cliffs very steep cliffs um hmm i'm not sure about this we might have to come back to this should we should we just leave that there and then come back to it i think we shall i think we shall uh the anything else we can do well yeah we can do a bunch of things let's go over here ah yes now if we look at the other well, other shipwrecks. Let's throw something in. Tell you what, let's throw something in here. It kind of looks that there is a danger if you throw too much stuff down. Um, it looks like a parking lot. That's just um, a thing that you have to be aware of. Let's go up here, shipwreck 6A. Now we've already used this shipwreck. Uh, we could, whoa, it's off into the world. We can't put it out there. Place it here. I think this is too big. I think this is too. Is this too big? Ooh, hold on a minute. You get out of here. Get out of here. Because this is sat on, again, once again, on the sea floor. I think we might be able to do something with this. I think we might be able to do something with this if we hit T. Push it in a bit so it's um there isn't like a big hole in the bow somewhere oh it's here yeah i think which way around is this thing supposed to be i can never work this one out i think this is the bow at the front uh let's have a look yeah that's uh that's the that's the captain's position that's the driving position is it a captain or um coxswain's position not entirely sure so if we do this move it out a little bit so it looks like it's Run aground. There we go. Um, let's use that. Use that part of the model. Uh, hit T. Uh, hit R. Sorry. Rotate slightly. T, and then just drag it back. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. And that. That's interesting because that adds something else to this side of the island for us to go and investigate. And we could be like, oh, let's investigate. Oh, how do we get to, do, can we get, can we even get back up there? Hmm, not really. But if we stand here and hopefully there's no shark. Oh no, there might be a shark. We can go and then swim like a mad. Whoa. Or we could just look under the world and see what nightmare terrain we've, uh, we've actually positioned down there. So it's tantalizingly close to shore, but still you can get on it. I think you can get on it, no problem. But you're gonna getting off there is gonna be a bit of an issue, especially if there are if there's angry marine life swimming around. Hmm. Okay. Um. Do we want to reposition that so the butt's a little bit further out to sea? Probably. Probably. I think that might be a better because it looks a little bit a little bit too tight there. 
There we go. There we go. Ah, yes, that's much better. So we'll just sort of push this in. This is the nice bit. Everything, all the big sort of, uh, all the major things have been done. And now we're, we're literally just playing. We're literally just playing with what the game gives us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's kind of cool. So we've got our offshore island, the, the broken sea stack. And this thing's come in and it's torn a hole in the hull. Uh, should we camber it over slightly? Can we do that? Yes, we probably can. Um, which way would it have gone? Probably that way, a little bit. It's, it's kind of settled at a, a slightly odd angle. Whoop. Slightly odd angle. It's torn a hole in the, in the bow. And now this thing is sort of sat on the... And you might say, well, you know, it's, it's kind of gentle. The, the water's not even coming out. Oh, oh, by the time this is all watery sea, I should imagine it's going to be coming over the deck itself. Um, so we just raise it up a little bit. Boop. Uh, boop. There we go. I think it's still sat on the sea floor. Yes, it is. So we're just by raising it up a little bit, just uh, trying trying not to have the water clip through the the actual deck itself. Good. Good. So that's there. That's there. We've got a shipwreck there in the water. Uh, we've got a rowboat there, and we've got a wreck over here, sort of further inland. Nice, and we've got a wreck under there. We've got quite a few wrecks already, uh, as well as these, as, as well as these um, forts. That's that's nice. There's nothing over here though. So what we could do is just throw in a few, a uh, few little bits and pieces around for us to kind of investigate, and then, hmm, I'm not entirely sure. It's it's got to that point where. What do we do? We've got the rowboats, we've got the shipwrecks. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Let's go and play with one of the shipwrecks. Let's go and do one of my favorite things, and that is to get this shipwreck here. Um, do I want it here? Uh, probably not, let's delete that. You can just hit delete on the keyboard to delete it. Uh, is there enough space somewhere? We might have to punch a bit of space out. Uh, we could, oh, oh, we've got that kind of building thing there. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's just slam it in the river. There's nothing here. That's the thing. All right. Okay. 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 Let's put it in the estuary. Uh, I don't think it's even that deep here. Is it kind of knee deep? Yeah, kind of. All right. So what we do is we take this particular shipwreck. This is shipwreck 7A. Uh, we hit rotate. So we rotate it round. Okay. You, you've seen this before in the, uh, in the playthrough anyway. Uh, we bring this down. Um, we kind of rotate it in in a way so it looks like a much bigger boat. Uh, what we could even do is have the bow kind of out, kind of poking out to sea. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, that's good. The only problem is this bit here. Now something might spawn in there uh, in terms of loot because it, it generally does. Uh, but if you have this thing rotated like this, so it's so the mast is vertical. Um, if there is a big gap here, you might not be able to get out if you actually fall in it. So it might even be worth popping a rock in there or something just to make sure that it's... Because uh, if I do that, um, and then we look in there, ooh, boop, it is pretty, pretty much... Yeah, you're not, you're not getting out unless you can swim out of that. Um, we've got one on the home island and it's, yeah, it's, it's a little bit dodge. It is somewhat lethal. So if we hit rotate, just rotate it down a little bit and then press T and just pull that back. And then we get, um, actually this rack here. So this is a uh, shipwreck 4A. With shipwreck 4A, what you can do is hit rotate and then rotate it so that it is um, either way, actually, doesn't matter. So it's on its basically on its side. So you've got these kind of uh, bits of rib, I, I guess you would call them. And then you kind of move this. So it looks like there's a much bigger boat poking out of the sand. You're just using the edge. So this this bow here, plus these bits here. So it looks like a boat 
landed here. So what I'll do is get rid of that because that's too close now. There's too much stuff going on. But it looks like uh, there was a boat here and it's in this estuary, this river estuary. And over time, the, uh, the action of the sea has torn away the gunnels and just reduced it to its ribs. So there's this kind of boat there. And you can even do one on the other side. There's no uh, there's nothing stopping you doing that. So if we hit uh, rotate, which is R on the keyboard, and then move that over and press T, and then we can just move this. So it's uh, rotate it back a little bit. There we go. In fact, what we could, uh, I think the other side is probably a little bit better for this. Let's just move this slightly. Let's kind of tweak it so it kind of looks right. Does that, does that look right? Not really, I think. Okay, let's, let's rotate it 180. Let's do that. Uh, there we go. And then let's rotate that again. And bring that back. Okay, so these are now it's the same side. It's kind of awkwardly rotated. But uh, let's do that. Let's poke that out. Ooh, what have we done? What have we done? What are we doing? Let's kind of just uh, keep playing around with it until it kind of fits. That kind of fits. Yeah. And then we'll have to kind of move that around. So it, it's kind of in line, I guess. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Ah, so yeah, just, just tweaking it on its, uh, on its rotation. Yep. There we go. Hey, what, what happened to that boat? Looks like there's a huge, huge old boat here that, um, yeah, it, uh, it got really messed up over time. It looks yeah, so you can use bits of other shipwrecks. You can use shipwrecks, you can use uh, various bits and pieces to make things that basically uh, don't exist within the game, but, you know, so we've made a, we've made a hut on the other side of the island um, over here out of a shipwreck, which kind of looks cool. We've used the same thing over here, but it's so far away from that part of the island that, to be honest, when you're playing, you might not even notice that this bit is the same piece that's over there. I mean, we probably will. I mean, give players their due. And then this bit here looks like um, a boat that's kind of partially rotten, rotted away. And you will, you'll still get a, a console appear here. And you might even get a bit of loot here. You might even get some loot here from these two. Or I have a feeling um, otherwise it might just drop out of the world. I'm not sure how the loot is handled. So that's cool. We've got some uh, we've got some wrecks on the island. I might put a few just out to sea, just to uh, uh, just to give ourselves something, some some sort of uh, like you just pop out to sea. Let's do that somewhere here, I guess. Yeah. In fact, let's get rid of that because when you first drag it onto the world, it kind of they do kind of that's not. Should we use this one? Yeah, let's, let's use this one. Um, it kind of follows terrain. So that's why it kind of freaks out a little bit. So we use that and then we rotate it. Uh, that kind of looks like it was trying to leave the island. Uh, looks like it was trying to get onto the island. That, mm, okay, that's not working for me. Let's press T, drag it down. That's, yeah, that kind of works a bit better. Bring in mind that this flat area here will be populated by, uh, be populated by rocks. It'll be populated by seaweed and little fishes and stuff. So it'll look very different once we're actually in the game. Uh, cool. Let's have a little bit, of, little bit of rotation on it. There we go. So it looks like it's settled rather than been placed because boats don't tend to don't always uh, settle straight down. They they hit the they hit the seabed and then they sort of flop over a bit because the boat hull is well. It's a boat hull shaped. Good. So we've got we've got some shipwrecks. Uh, we've got some sort of yeah. I got some shipwrecks. Got some things that are being used as multiple parts of shipwrecks being used as uh, other items. So we've got a lot of things going on on the island. We've got a little rowboat there. 
What we could do is also put a rowboat somewhere in the middle of the island. Uh, let's do that just to give ourselves some. Where is it, rowboat? There you are. Ah, oh, there you are. So we can uh, hit rotate. And yeah, just so it looks like people have been here. Because we've got, we've got these obvious things like the, the, the bridges look like uh, people have been here. And we've got the old uh, deep blue sea bit. Um, what I might do is uh, just tidy up the river a little bit. Um, throw a few more palm trees in, I guess, while we're here. So if we go to trees, boop, and go down here. And you might say, look, dude, you're spending too much time on the palm trees. Why are you throwing so many palm trees in? Good question. Um, young palm, 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 palm. Three, two, one. I want the let's put palm three. So it's short enough to actually be there, but it's uh it's tall enough to actually So yeah, we're, what we're doing is we're, we're once again breaking up the structure, the uh the cliff structure. So we're just adding a bit more greenery so it looks like the world is um is, is organic, essentially. Uh, so we have this lovely organic look to the world without um, without looking th like things are placed, it looks like things have grown. Uh, and this here is very, very bare. So we're just kind of tidying up at this point. Um, we're just going to be using Palm 3 to do it. Uh, what about here? Does it like something could possibly grow there. Uh, hit rotate. Yeah, maybe. It's tight, but, uh, hmm. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. It'll do. Just little little things here and there. Uh, we might even what we might do. This area is big and empty, so what we'll do is we'll go to rocks and find ourselves cliff. Uh, cliff three. Yep. Just throw that in there. Because otherwise, you've got this big area of empty sand. Hit R to rotate and just pop that in. Cool. Uh, let's just move that over a little bit there we go there we go otherwise you've got this huge area of empty sand and it's like well what's what's here not nothing but in fact that's a little bit is that too in line that's kind of no matter how we position this in this area it it somehow is still in line with these these rocks over here oh, it doesn't matter doesn't matter uh we've placed a lot of items on the sea uh, on the island anyway so we've, we can see the tarps from up here uh, we placed a lot of rocks. What we should probably also do is place a few mining rocks and um, yeah, here we go. Let's place some mining rocks around. So it gives us some some little bits and pieces. Uh, let's grab the clay. Now the clay, the clay is good in gameplay terms, in that it's very obvious that this is something that kind of doesn't belong in the world i guess so you're like oh that's clay i'll go and get it um on one hand on the other hand i don't know it still looks like a like a little frere roche or something so we'll throw a few of these around we might even throw them in awkward places to get to let's do that uh just over here and i mean the, the clay for us isn't that important uh, we can place them in, in awkward to, to reach places. Uh, we can also place them. So we've got one over there. That's kind of very obvious. Eh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that it's obvious. We could have it, you know, put, put one over here as a kind of reward for getting here, I guess. There we go. Although that might just fall off into the sea. It doesn't matter. That's kind of, is that kind of cool there? Is that even visible? Not really. That's good. I prefer it so it's not visible um, from from the coast. What I might do is pop one in here as well. And you might say, well, why would you do that? Because this bit of rock here might mean that we never come in here. So it's just a way of bringing us in. Uh, should we should we venture into this part of the island? So you, you need to you need to be aware of, I mean, things like risk and reward are fine. But if you've ever played EVE Online, you'll know that people use that as a byword for um, just wrecking your day. It's like, 
Well, no, you have to go into NullSec. Uh, otherwise, how will you get the risk and reward? And it's just like, well, yeah, but you can also use these things to, to make people go to places they might never go to. Uh, it doesn't have to be about risk and reward. It can be about uh, movement, about moving people around the map. So we've got some clay rocks around. Uh, we can throw some of these uh, normal mining rocks around. Um, probably put them with the other rocks. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So it's like, well, here's some rocks. This is where you pick up the loose rock. And if you've got a pick, you can just go and pick some uh, other rocks. So we'll just put these resources. In. So these are, these are resources that we may or may not use uh, as we're running around the island. Um, let's put in there. So the rock is not too much of a like a risk reward item. The clay is usually higher because of uh, its value. Um, so the value of the clay is such that if you want to make water bottles and things and you don't want a water skin, then you're going to have to go and either swim in the sea or you're going to have to go and uh, mine it from awkward places. Fine. So we've got some clay and bits and pieces down. We've got some rocks down. So we've got plenty of uh, materials on the island. We're just going to go switch to items. Okay, items, rope coil stick. We play, placed a list of sticks last time. Uh, water bowl, beans, compass, duct tape. No, we're not going to put these items in. These are the items that would typically be found in, uh, in crates and chests and stuff. However, 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 there are times when I do like to go around and find things like a lantern. This is a little bit awkward using the, because the proximity, uh, things slow down uh, based on proximity. And then you take a lantern and you go, well, what am I going to do with a lantern? Well, I am going to place it in here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't actually clip into anything. And then I'm going to bail like the wind. But uh, you're placing a free lantern for yourself. Well, actually what I'm doing, these things have windows. So at night, this thing is going to be lit up. And it's like, wait a minute. Where have I seen that before? I've done that a few, uh, a few other times. So it's just like, it, it looks like somebody's, uh, somebody's been here and they've left, uh, left something behind. There we go. So we'll only place a couple of them, but it, it kind of lights these things up. So as we're, as we're walking around, it's like, uh, if we end, end up, uh, on this island at night, if we land at night, or we land very, um, very late in the evening. Some of these things are, are kind of lit up. I don't think I want one there. I don't think I want one there. So let's delete that lantern. Uh, but here might be a good place to do it. What? Let's do one in here. Yeah, because this is a little building and there might actually be lights in that building. So let's place one there on the floor. I'm placing it on the floor because it's less likely to be, uh, to clip into um, things like loot boxes should they appear. So that'll be lit up at night. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Um, anything else? Well, we've got the machete. No. Cloth. No. Torch. No. No, none of this. Morphine. No, no, no. Tarp. Scrap planks. Yep. So you have two things that fall off a boat. You have flotsam and you have jetsam. Flotsam are things that have fallen off the boat and jetsam are things that have been jettisoned. Bearing in mind that you should never really jettison anything off a boat into the sea because it, well, it stays there forever. Forever. So we're not going to go too mental with the, uh, with the planks. We're just going to throw a few around uh, here and there. Might even throw another uh, set of planks in into the cave, maybe. Just to, just to pick up. Looks like it's a bit of boat broken off or something. I don't know. So we'll um, rotate that. Rotate this. Ah, there we go. And then drop it down because it needs to be, because it'll be a physics object, but it needs to be close to the floor so we don't see it fall from the sky. There we go. So there's planks there, planks there. Um, planks over here. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of if anything over here will just bring us to this point of the island. We do have these stepping stones, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but we do want to make sure that we actually go and explore. Or if you're making these maps for other people, then they go and explore because they're looking for stuff. Um, what I would never do if I was making this for somebody else is give them too, too much stuff. Or make it too easy or overly hard for people um, because you'll find that people will get upset 
if you make things overly difficult. So if you like, haha, you can have all the stuff in the world, but um, I placed 50 sharks around it. And people are like, well, I'm, I'm not going to play that. I don't want to. I don't want to go and get beaten up by 50 sharks. That's just silly. Oh well, what did you want? Well, I just sometimes people just want to chill. So I was get some scraps here. Uh, but then again, equally, if you make something too too easy, there's no challenge or there's no sense of adventure. So you don't want to make it too too easy. Uh, we'll put some corrugated scraps down. Again, I'm just placing these around the coast. I'm not throwing them inland. Um, so kind of logical places, I guess, kind of uh, here next to the next to the wreck. What is wrecked? There we go. And again, these are physics objects, so they can they'll be uh, they'll, they'll drop down. Um, that's too close to that. Let's delete the object. Uh, over here, maybe. Yeah, I'm kind of deliberately focusing on this side of the island at the moment because it, it it is slightly more barren than the other places. So we've got three points of interest. We've got the the, the sea forts. We've got this area over here, and then we've got this area here with the boats. Now, if we didn't put points of interest, we would never have. We would sort of do a sweet round when we first came to the island, but we'd never have any uh, reason for coming back here. Um, so we need reasons for. Uh, coming back, and this kind of area here has no reason to be in it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put, put a piece of metal here, so that at some point, we, at least we do come along and say, "Ah, oh, there's metal there. We'll come and pick it up." There we go. There we go. So we've got the, the planks and the metal. We, we haven't put too much metal down. Um, yeah, that's good. Right. So. So anything else? Uh, driftwood sticks. Ooh, there was there was a driftwood thing. I still haven't found it. I should have actually looked at it um, off camera. Uh, tire tires, no boys. We'll come back to the boy ball. Uh, stone tools, crispy arrows, no nope. air tanks, no nope. bows, no nope. fishing spears, no uh, knives, spear guns, no nope. clay bricks, refined pick, and water skins. No, I think we we're kind of done with all that as far as I can tell. So items. Uh, no, we don't need that. Misc. Uh, here we go. So under misc is is the package. I'm actually, I'm going to go and place these down on here just to show you guys what these are. This is the dead X package. So it's a reference to uh, what's it? A uh, castaway. Well, these are these are castaway references. So because why not? Well, can we get real close? Can we get real close? Some garbage that makes no sense clearly goes here. Nobody could properly read this with its resolution anyway. Oh, <laughs> cool. Pacific Ocean Island Key Stranded Deep Survivor Colin. Wait, is the is the player character called Colin? Huh. Interesting. It's not got the FedEx logo. Is it the FedEx logo? Because the the um, there's an arrow between the E and the X, I think, uh, like in the in the blank space. But uh, cool. So you got the package. Whoa, let's move. Ugh, freaking camera's freaking out. Uh, we got Wally, which is this uh, Wilson in in the film, which is the bloody handprint on the volleyball. What does it say anyway? Sports. Is it sp sport? Sports volleyball? I think that's what it says. The resolution of the other thing really is too too small to read. Okay. So it's like sports volleyball. And then the other thing. Oh my god, yeah, this thing. Do not put this thing in your map. It looks wonderful. It is a physics object and it doesn't float. Uh I don't know the purpose of it. It's so strange. Let's go and place that somewhere. Let's delete that. Um that's Hmm. You know what? You know what? Let's not do that. Let's just pop that. Let's pop that there. I I, I literally have no idea what we're going to do with it. It's just a little Easter egg thing. Boop. Let's just pop that there. Yeah. Okay. And Wally? Uh. Well, you can be on the. Can you be on the roof? We can't get on the roof. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We just. <laughs> uh, if we uh, 
Uh, what? What am I doing with the camera? If we place you there, I'm sure when the game loads in, you'll just you'll just drop on something. Uh, boop. Let's rotate you. There we go. So it looks like someone was here at some point. There we go. Whatever. He'll drop to the floor. I'm sure. Right, yeah, so this boy, oh my god, the saga of this boy, it doesn't float. So if you go, right, let's do that. So it doesn't float, um, and it doesn't stay in a position. So what it does is it, it tends to fall and then lay on the ground. So you can use it, like, as, as an item. You would have thought that once you placed it into the sea, like that, it's like, oh, there's a thing and there's the shadow, uh, there's the reflection. No, it's terrifying under the water. Uh, but the last time I tried to use one of these in a map, it fell over, a shark hit it, and uh, I saw it flying off into orbit. So um, don't bother trying to use that. Just, uh, just don't. Just don't. So we've looked at the items, looked at the tree, rocks. Uh, we'll probably go back to trees. So palm fronds. You can throw some palm fronds down if you want, um, just to make it easier to build a uh to build a shelter on the first day i'm not going to we've got a few yuccas uh potato plants okay so the potatoes you can put potato plants in they're a ground plant um just a thing but to be honest the potatoes take so long to cook or at least they used to take so long to cook they were not really worth it so we could just place a few down in in areas that look a little bit too green uh like here here uh Green, I mean empty. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? I'm not going to put any over here. I'm going to put places uh, where they might might kind of uh, exist. There's loads of stuff there. So we'll just put a few down just so they exist. Uh, we've got log one. So these logs are literally uh, driftwood logs. Um, let's put a few around the island. Let's do that. Driftwood goes on the beach, obviously. I say obviously, like it, uh, like it actually is supposed to be a thing. They start in the upright position, so we'll just raise that up and then hit rotate. Ah, and then we're rotating a palm tree. Now we're rotating the log. So there's a lot of stuff on the shoreline, and you might think, oh, there's too much stuff on the shoreline, but this is a big old island. It really is a big old island. Uh, let's rotate that round and then press T, bring it up, and then. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. And then maybe uh, log one. This is a little skinny log. Uh, let's press R, rotate. T, let's bring it up. And then R to rotate again. Just make sure. Basically, it's slightly floating, if you can see that. So it's not clipped into the mesh. It'll, it'll settle once we get close to it. It'll be fine. Uh, log zero. Log zero. There we go. And then same thing again, just kind of we're not I'm not too fussed about the uh, uh, about the driftwood. If I'm going to be honest, if we need firewood, we can use because we'll, we'll be chopping down a few trees to make things like um, to make things like tools and to make shelters and stuff. So we're going to have a lot of spare palm fronds, which uh, what we can do is probably use the palm fronds to fuel fires and stuff. And you can't make a, a fire unless you have just wood sticks. So either palm, uh, palm log or uh, pine, uh, young, young pine trees or like the wood sticks that we put down. So that's cool. Oh, driftwood pile. There it is. That's what I was looking for last time. I was like, do, 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 driftwood, driftwood. I must have gone past that five or six times. People are probably going. You're insane. What are you doing? Now, the driftwood pile is a very interesting thing. Um, our shoreline is actually getting a very, very full at the moment. Now, I'm just going to drop it down. I'm not even going to bother with the rotation on it because as we go around the island, the rotation will, uh, won't actually matter. Um, driftwood pile. Let's pop it there just to give this side of the uh, a cave just a, like some interest. Um, yeah. It's it's an interesting thing. I think it goes through like a state change. Oh, let's pop it in there. There you go. So this is an item, as far as I can tell. Uh, it's an item, and then when you when you hit it with your axe, 
it becomes three physics objects, three uh, logs, log one, log two, and log zero probably. And because they're very close together, they end up flying up in the air. One inevitably ends up out at sea, just like miles and miles out at sea. So uh, yeah, good luck with that. It's just, it's not a problem with the game. It's a problem with the engine's physics. If you are at all curious, you're like, what is going on? Why didn't they have to fix it? Well, it's a, it's a physics bug. If you're, uh, if you're kind of into that sort of thing, I don't know if there's too much more sort of squeeze in. Um, right. So we've got this plant. Yeah. We got this plant. Yeah. We've got banana plants. Definitely. We've got a bunch of these things. We've got tall, tall, skinny plants. Um, yes, I think we've got the tall, skinny plant. Yeah. 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 We, we got it. Uh, this guy. Yeah. Throw another one in just for good measure. Sure. Why not? There is no wrong answer. No wrong answer. This area here looks a little bit open and sandy, but nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I think we're probably done. So is that tall skinny plant, ficus tree. Oh, the ficus trees. Yeah, favorites. Uh, and then the palm trees. And then the palm logs, which I don't think you can pick up the palm logs. So those are what you would get if you chop down a palm tree. We're not going to put any in, um, but this is basically what it is. I think there's a, a kind of a weird thing where you can chop it up but you, and you can physics move it if you place it in the world, but you can't pop it in your inventory and stuff. So you would need to either kind of physics drag it. Um, the place you could use this, if you're going to use it at all, would be kind of in the woods. But to be honest, uh, since the palms aren't going to be in the woods, I mean, you could put logs in the woods. Um, so it looks like like a branch or something's come away. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Uh, young palms, we've already placed. Pines, I think we're at the... Are we at the item limit? Wait, what? We were at the item limit, and now we can place more pine trees? <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought that we could only place six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. There's ten trees. Eleven, twelve. Wait, what? Can we place more? More? How does that work? All right. Um, I'll give it a shot, but I don't know if we'll start hitting a memory limit at some point. Let's do this. This is this is odd. Yeah, maximum reached. So by placing another tree, we might have just like. No, no, glitch the game a little bit. Glitch the game a little bit. Hmm, I wonder. So we put pine tree in. Hmm, that's odd. Pine tree, pine tree. Oh, maximum reached. It's maximum reached in the bottom one. That's weird. All right, I didn't think you could. I didn't think you could kind of force the uh, force the game to give you more trees. Let's do it. Let's risk our entire map by putting some more trees in. Why not? Let's go up, 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 up. That is the same tree, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's not going to matter because um, they are actually surrounded by trees. So it's not going to matter. That these two are basically the same uh, entity. Nope, not one bit. So maximum, maximum, not maximum. <gasps> Ooh. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. So we've added a few more. Oh, God. Yeah, that's looking a bit more foresty now. So we've just f filled in the center of our, of our forest with more forest. This is looking a bit, uh, a bit Canadian. Can Canadarian. Canadorian. Oh, yeah, these bushes. All right. So um, one of the things we can do is throw these bushes around. It's called bush. Guess what it does? It's a bush. It's a, it's a pleasant little thing. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, but it's got a huge hitbox. If you try and move an object near it, see, look, this other bush, it's, it's got this huge hitbox. 
you just have this like massive uh, circle or hemisphere around it where you just can't put anything. You can put something down and then you can drag it in, but you can't. Um, uh, we just slammed in three. I'm just going to put these shrubs next to the base of some of these trees uh, just to kind of um, make it look like there's either like a shoot or something coming off the side or just to uh, mask some of the bare bark. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, they're, they're useful little little things. Uh, just the the standard bush model. Um, I don't know if they have like a hitbox where it doesn't allow you to walk through it. You can also use them to break up uh, things like bits of rock, for example. There we go. Bit of rock broken up. What's this stick doing? Stick, what are you doing? Oh, I think we we accidentally moved the rock. That was yeah, that was the thing. All right, so. Uh, we have placed a bunch of wrecks. We have uh, gone along and increased the number of trees in our island. We have added some other little points of interest. Things we haven't done. Uh, we haven't thrown the sharks in yet. Uh, we've gone through here. Pine small, pine small. We could th probably throw a few more of these in, maybe. Uh, why not? Why not? I mean, we've we've gone. We've gone pretty overboard with them anyway and you might say well how overboard is overboard not really no i don't don't know just going to tuck a few more in here and there there we go okay, rotate cool so we have loads and loads of entities um you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to quickly save boop, 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 save do you want to save over and then resume it worked I am, I'm not unhappy with that. Okay, so uh, sharks, sharks everywhere, but not right here. So we're going to hit animals. This is the point at which we add the sharks. And you might be saying to yourself, wait a minute, why would I add sharks to my island? Well, okay, uh, you don't have to, is the answer. You don't have to add sharks to your island. Let's go if I hit terrain. Okay, yeah. We get off that. You don't have to add sharks to your island. You don't have to add any animals to your island. You will have seagulls and bats. You will have fishes in the sea. You might even have sharks that you drag in from other islands as you come across on your raft. You will not have sharks native to this island. But if you're doing a playthrough, say Twitch channel, or you are making this for somebody else, or you are doing this for YouTube, you should really have a shark on your island because, because um, the, 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 the threat is what sort of um, gets people interested. So what we're going to do is we are going to, we've done the great whites. Now, the problem with the great white is that the, um, the, the sea currently, I mean, it's okay here. But once you're in game, it's a little bit cloudy. It's not as transparent as it used to be uh, actually in game. And the great white, while it's good, it's very hard to see. And what I found is playing through on YouTube, uh, you can't take one out in, in, a, in a typical uh, recording session. And these things might reset between sessions. So what I'm going to do is use patrol tiger shark. Ah, there we go. And I'm going to hit uh, T and I'm going to bring him up so we can actually see him. So this, this friend here, this is going to be our antagonist. Just drop him down so his fin is showing. There we go. And raise up, raise up. So this guy is going to appear. Now, the way that this works is they appear um, as you approach the island. and uh, so when you're out of the island's bounds, they don't necessarily render. And as soon as you're kind of um, within the island bounds, they they kind of uh, they, they render, uh, they appear, and then they 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 swim down to their uh, preferred depth. Why can't, why am I not clicking on this guy? Uh, press F. Oh, we are focused on him. T. All right. So what I'm going to do is move him out of this area. Move him over here a little bit. Uh, yes, there we go. Now he's going to patrol um, around. No, let's do this. Let's ro Why do, can I not rotate him? I should be able to rotate him. 
No, I can't rotate him. I can just place him. Okay, so it, I mean, rotation doesn't really matter anyway. The model is uh, not really tied to uh, the AI. The AI and the model um, are two really separate entities. So what this is and how it behaves, um, well, it, it's kind of, yeah, it, it, it's different, but it's the same. Just kind of understand that. Um, and what we'll do is we'll place him there so his, his fin and his tail are showing. He'll swim down to the depth that he likes. But the other thing we're going to do is go back to items. And we're going to find that boy ball. Boy ball. Boy ball. And then we're going to just place it. And then we're going to pop it up. Bonk. Now this is going to represent uh, the location of the shark spawn for us in game. And we're going to be like, oh, what's that big yellow ball doing? Well, that's where the shark spawns. He can knock that around. But even if it's like really stormy, this thing is going to just uh, bob up and down because there's no um, there's no currents in the game. I have seen, I think it was on Trello, um, the uh, the guys talking about adding currents and winds to the game, uh, but they're not currently in the game. Currently in the game? Huh? So this thing will stay, and it's also why your raft doesn't uh, move around. And also tides... I think tides were in the game, or there was an experimental version with tides in it, but uh, tides are now not in. I mean, it wouldn't wouldn't need to be much, just maybe a, a meter or so. I don't know. It would be kind of hard to hard to make an island like this if uh, if tides were kind of um, implemented. It would be weird. It'd be odd. I don't know. There, there might be a situation where you couldn't land your uh, couldn't land your boat. So. Uh, we have one shark, and then I'm going to leave it at one shark because these guys are supposed to respawn in 24 hours, uh, in 72 hours. But on on a homemade map, on a on a custom map, they tend to respawn a lot quicker, usually within 24 hours. So I'll leave that there. And I've have I have him in this pen, but it's not really a pen. It's it's just this kind of uh, these, these walkways. So maybe we'll be able to take him out here. Maybe not. Um, but we know that this point here is the, is the shark spawn area, so we need to be a little bit careful. Good. Well, we've got our shipwrecks in. We've got our points of interest in. We have a huge, huge island, and we have uh, lots of cool things around, along the middle. I th think, like, the last thing I want to... Do I want to put anything else in? Uh... I'm thinking maybe some rocks for, for interest. Um, don't know. Don't know. Uh, I don't think there's anything we've left out. We've got all the items that we should have in. Yeah, all the items are in. We've even put in some extra items uh, over here. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks, looks kind of cool. Everything's kind of, uh, kind of about where, where I'd want it. So I will save it once more. So I'll just hit escape, save. Uh, so the name, well, I'll leave the name in the description. Uh, hit, yes. And then hit resume. Okay. Um, I might test this. Now, if you want to see me test it, um, leave, a, leave, a, leave a thing in the description. Uh, leave a thing in the, in the comments. A uh, thing like, oh, I want to see you test the island. This is really good. I'm on fire. Don't be on fire. But uh, definitely, definitely uh, leave a little, leave a little, little, little comment. Um, it does mean using kind of the cheats, the the, the dev tools. Um, once we're back in the main game, um, basically what we do is we fly over and then kite this guy around. So we just make sure that we can actually jump on everything. So it's it's not really that interesting, I guess. Um, but it's it's basically just testing the map. Make sure that everything can be walked on. Make sure everything can be jumped on. Uh, make sure this guy, very importantly can actually um, can actually follow you around and doesn't go under the island. Because the main problem with these guys, uh, they'll find a way of getting under the island, sort of along here maybe. Uh, they'll sort of try and get to you, because what they want to do is they want to swim around you in a circle. Uh, they'll, they'll follow the shoreline and they'll just be like, um, I don't know if there's even a gap in the mesh or, or what, but they'll, they'll just go under. And once they're under, that's it. There's nothing you can really do. You put rocks and stuff in the way. And I've experimented with putting a ring of cliffs just under the shoreline, but it, it doesn't stop them. Now, if they want to go under the island, they'll find a way under the island. 
but I think I might leave it there. So that is uh, pretty much a completed island. We have woods, we have items, we have everything we need to survive, thrive, and uh, be totally terrified with on this island. The last thing I'm going to show you is actually how to put your island into the world. So uh, we'll just save it again. Uh, we haven't done anything, but we're going to hit save again just to make sure everything's cool. Uh, then what we will do is hit escape and then hit quit. Uh, do you really want to quit? So, OK, we're back in the cartographer. Now, if we scroll down, we'll find Deep Blue Sea right here. The way you get your map into the world. That is, uh, that is something that people are going to ask. So uh, every time you save, the version number is going to go up. So version 7, we saved seven times. That's basically what that means. And all you do is left click, drag into the world, and then drop it over an island to replace. Done. So this is the island we're currently on. This is our home island. This is the sea stack island. Uh, this island here. Now we can kind of see how it uh how it's orientated from the 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 height map the topographical map i guess so this area here is the uh the bit where the boat is in the cave and this island here is the sea stack uh this island here so the shark is going to be furthest away from us uh so the sea forts are along the bottom here and uh this is where the the, the wreck of the ship is um it keeps coming up the tool tip it's like whoa tool tip go away uh, but that is now in our game. And if we hit apply, boop, saving world data, this is now uh, part of our world. And if we go into the game, we will be able to see this from the island that we're currently on. But you know what? I'm going to leave it there. So uh, if you if you like this, if you've been watching and you think, oh, this is really good. I'd like to see you play the map now. Uh, definitely, definitely drop a subscribe. Uh, drop, uh, drop a like, uh, drop a dislike uh, because um, that helps us equally, actually. Um, if you didn't like what you saw, uh, tell your friends about the channel, uh, comment on all the lovely stuff. And if you are subscribed and you want to see notifications, hit the little bell because apparently that is now a thing. But until next time, bye.